In today's video, you're going to meet an animal that is thought to be a bringer of natural disasters and a creature that's even longer than the largest animal on Earth. The Ocean Sunfish The Ocean Sunfish holds the world record for being the largest bony fish species in the world, and that's despite it having no true tail. The biggest one ever recorded grew to over 10.82 feet from fin to fin, and weighed an astounding 2.7 tons. Having no tail makes the ocean sunfish truly weird looking, appearing more like a stingray that's learned to swim on its side. It also gets a bad rap and has been called the most useless fish in the world, mostly because of a Facebook rant that became viral. In various parts of the world, ocean sunfish have gained mythical status, and quite a few legends have been attributed to this ugly fish. Polynesians, such as the indigenous people of Hawaii, believe that killing slender sunfish is bad luck. They believe that sunfish are called Makua, the king of the mackerel, and that by killing a sunfish, mackerel will not find their way to the fishing grounds that the Polynesians depend on. In Japan, sunfish are beloved, and swimming with the mola, as sunfish are otherwise called, is a popular pastime. Also, the sunfish Pokemon, Alamomala, is even heart-shaped as a sign of the love that Japan has for them. The Japanese Spider Crab with a leg span of over 12 feet, the Japanese spider crab is the largest of all crustaceans. Not only that, scientists estimate that this crab can weigh up to 44 pounds. Being so large, they are definitely slow, so hunting is pretty much out of the picture for them. Mostly, they just feed on algae, kelp, mollusks, and slow-moving invertebrates, which are probably the only live animals that it could catch. They also won't turn up their noses at the dead bodies of various sea creatures that litter the ocean floor. In fact, this last option seems to be their favorite as they seem to prefer to scavenge dead flesh rather than killing things themselves. Their meat, though, is pretty tasty and is actually hunted for food, especially in their native Japan. I mean, seriously, 12 feet of crab legs filled with juicy crab meat? My wife would particularly like that. However, catching these guys from the sea is a bit risky. Their legs might be spindly, but their claws definitely hurt. They're actually strong enough to pry open the hard shells of clams in order to get to the meat inside. And let's be honest, as squishy humans, we're nowhere near as durable. The Oarfish Oarfish have the tendency to grow quite large. In fact, no one actually knows how big these fish can grow to. Currently, the largest oarfish ever found reached a mind-boggling 110 feet long, making it the largest bony fish on record. It was found dead, of course, and no oarfish as big as that or bigger has ever been found, but hey, progress. The origin of the oarfish's name is unknown, but may refer to the oar-shaped body or the long oar-like pelvic fins. Because of their long, thin shape, the oarfish is sometimes known as the ribbon fish. It's also commonly referred to as the king of herrings. They have a habit of floating near the surface of the water when they're sick or dying, and because of this, it's believed that the oarfish may be responsible for many of the legendary sightings of sea monsters and sea serpents by ancient mariners and beachgoers. Almost everything we know about the oarfish has been learned from specimens that have washed ashore on beaches or have been accidentally caught by fishermen. Really, there is footage of a live one out there, but that's pretty rare, and any footage or photos is pretty rare in general. The Giant Pacific Octopus Arguably one of the most famous of all cephalopods, the Giant Pacific Octopus is a fascinating animal, to both scientists and ordinary people alike. They can grow up to 30 feet wide and have an average weight of 44 pounds. Needless to say, encountering one of these giants without diving are both awe-inspiring and frightening events at the same time. Still, they generally avoid humans unless, of course, you present yourself willingly as their food. Just thinking about those tentacles engulfing you and pulling you into their beaks is going to give you nightmares. This reddish pink octopus is the largest of its species and has nine brains and three hearts, and no, I'm not kidding. This thing really does have nine brains. One main brain in its head and one smaller brain in each tentacle. This abundance of brains may be the reason why the octopus is famous for its craftiness and mimicry. They can grow up to 30 feet wide and have an average weight of 44 pounds, and this can be frightening if you encounter this as a diver. Aside from their size, these sea creatures are also famous for their camo. They're able to change their color and pattern in one-tenth of a second, making them very hard to spot for both us and carnivores. The Giant Squid The Giant Squid remains largely a mystery to scientists despite being the biggest invertebrate on Earth. The largest of these elusive giants ever found measured 59 feet in length and weighed nearly a ton. 
However, their inhospitable deep-sea habitat has made them uniquely difficult to study, and almost everything scientists know about them is from carcasses. These carcasses were either found washed up on shore or caught by fishermen. Lately, however, the fortunes of scientists studying these elusive creatures have began to turn. Dr. Nathan Robinson, alongside Dr. Eddie Witter, captured the first ever footage of the giant squid in U.S. waters. This is actually the second time the giant squid has been filmed in the wild. The first time was in 2004, when researchers in Japan took the first images ever of a live giant squid. It might be difficult for us to understand why scientists are so excited about a video that's only a few minutes long, but even the shortest footage could further unravel the mystery that is the giant squid. The Basking Shark The second largest shark in the world, with the largest one on record measuring it at over 40 feet, about the length of a school bus. Yeah, this guy fits in pretty well with this list. Even more impressive, they can weigh in the range of 8,500 pounds. Like the whale shark before it, the basking shark is also a Planktivoria shark, meaning they feed primarily on plankton and other such tiny creatures. The most noticeable feature of this shark is its mouth, which can grow up to one meter wide. Its conical body is covered by a mucus layer with a brown or gray skin on the back and a white belly. Its pectoral and dorsal fins are quite large as they can stretch up to two meters wide. Also, the shark's squalene-rich liver is about one quarter of its body weight and is crucial in helping the shark to float. While the basking shark inhabits all the oceans of the world, it is predominant in the temperature subpolar waters and the continental shelf. Its habitat is largely influenced by availability of food, and during summer it migrates to coastal areas to feed on copepods. However, as soon as the winter sets in, it moves back to cold temperate waters. The Whale Shark Speaking of planktivorous sharks, growing up to 65 feet long and weighing almost 14 tons, the whale shark is without a doubt the largest shark in the entire world and is the largest fish in the sea. Thriving in tropical seas, the whale sharks are found off the coast of Australia, the Philippines, Bali, Indonesia, and other such breathtaking locations. They're characterized by a flattened head with a blunt snout, are gray in color with brown and white spots, as well as pale vertical and horizontal stripes. Top it all off with a white belly as well. Thankfully, the carnivorous whale shark is known as the gentle giant of the sea, as it is the most docile fish that feeds on plankton, making it not carnivorous at all. Fooled you though, didn't I? Tiny plants and any fish which happen to be swimming at the wrong place at the wrong time are fair game, which does make it a bit tiny meat eaterish, but hey, it also won't eat us humans. The whale shark scoops up their food with their gaping mouths as they swim close to the water's surface. Like I said though, the whale shark isn't to be feared. In fact, they're so friendly that they even allow swimmers to swim alongside or even hitch a ride. However, as harmless as they are, their massive size makes it possible for them to injure humans, however unintentional. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Which is actually the animal that inspired Moby Dick? The Sperm Whale. Sperm whales are the largest tooth predators of the sea. They can grow to almost 70 feet in length and weigh up to 80 tons. Everything about them is gigantic, including their brains. And speaking of their brains, which incidentally are the largest on the planet, which weighs a whopping 20 pounds, they're also known to be deep sea divers as well. I don't know what that has to do with their brains, but it was a good transition. They can reach depths of about 3,000 meters and feast on octopus, squid, cuttlefish, mollusks, and more. Granted, they can only stay down there for about 90 minutes. They are air breathers after all, so they have to return to the surface to breathe. Although they travel in ponds with an average of 15 individuals, they are not immune to predators. The main one is humans, of course. Back in the 18th and 19th centuries, with whaling being a rather booming industry, fishermen would often go out and hunt them, selling their flesh, organs, and more. Today, however, they are more in danger from pollution. In fact, most sperm whale carcasses have been found with plastics in their digestive tract, something they really can't fight against. Being so large, though, they should have no natural predators, but no. The significantly smaller killer whales actually do hunt them actively. Pilot whales will also toy with them sometimes, and a pod of killer whales will harass vulnerable females with calves. Most often than not, though, the size of the sperm whale is enough to deter predators. Case in point, killer whales are just jerks. The Blue Whale Blue whales are the largest animals ever known to have lived on Earth. These magnificent marine mammals rule the oceans at up to 100 feet long and upwards of 200 tons, with the largest specimen recorded at 108 feet long. Their tongues alone can weigh as much as an elephant, and their hearts as much as a standard sedan. It's pretty hard to believe that blue whales reach these mind-boggling dimensions on a diet composed nearly exclusively of tiny shrimp-like animals called krill. 
But given the fact that the volume of food they consume is downright epic, one can definitely understand the reason behind their massive size. During certain times of the year, a single adult blue whale consumes about 4 tons of krill a day. Blue whales live in all the world's oceans, occasionally swimming in small groups, but usually alone or in pairs. These huge but graceful swimmers cruise the ocean at more than 5 miles an hour but can accelerate to more than 20 miles an hour when they're agitated. They're also among the loudest animals on the planet and emit a series of pulses, groans, and moans, and it's thought that, in good conditions, blue whales can hear each other up to a thousand miles away. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. The Lion's Mane Jellyfish Yeah, the blue whale is the biggest mammal in the world, and it is certainly big, but here's the thing. The lion's mane jellyfish is still bigger. Blue whales on average are about 100 feet long, but the lion's mane jellyfish can be about 120. How long does it have to live to reach such an extraordinary length, though? Well, believe it or not, they do all that growing with a ridiculously short lifespan of a single year. These deep-sea monsters can have up to 1,200 tentacles, all of which are equipped with stinging cells, and although a sting from these massive creatures rarely results in fatalities, getting stung won't be that much fun either. The sticky tentacles of a lion's mane jellyfish can sting even when the jellyfish is dead, so give the lion's mane jellyfish on the beach a wide berth. On June 16, 2010, somewhere between 50 and 100 swimmers were sung off the coast of Rye, New Hampshire, and when a 40-pound lion's mane corpse was found at the scene, the authorities felt they'd found their perpetrator. See you all next time!